In this video, I have a fresh NVIDIA RTX 4070 leak for you. It reveals the updated specifications and power consumption of this highly anticipated graphics card. But as always, I will do a full coverage of all known specs, performance, release date, as well as price for the RTX 4070. Will it be an easy choice for your new PC build or the next GPU upgrade this year? That will be for you to decide at the end of this video, once I armed you with all the knowledge you need to make an informed decision. But what is an easy choice is choosing to build your website with Squarespace. With Squarespace you can easily build your website without having any web development knowledge. I built my first ever website using one of their fully customizable templates to make it look personal, and can confirm that the whole experience was a breeze. Currently, I use this website as a portfolio, but there is room to grow with features like online stores to sell physical or digital products, as well as powerful analytics that help you understand where the visits and sales are coming from to improve the website and build a better marketing strategy. Try it for free at squarespace.com, and when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash to save 10% off your first website or domain. The links are in the description below. Now back to the RTX 4070 specifications. It will use a slightly cut down version of a D104 GPU chip manufactured on TSMC 4 nanometer node. The GPU will feature 7168 CUDA cores and up to 48 megabytes of cache, paired with 10 gigabytes of GDDR6 18 gigabit per second memory. The power consumption is currently rumored to be at 300 watts for this card, which is quite high compared to the current generation RTX 3070 at just 220 watts. This rumor is backed up by a recent statement from AMD's senior vice president Sam Nafzinger in a recent Tom's Hardware interview. He said the following. The demand for gaming and compute performance is, if anything, just accelerating, and at the same time, the underlying process technology is slowing down pretty dramatically, and the improvement rate. So the power levels are just going to keep going up. Now we've got a multi-year roadmap of very significant efficiency improvements to offset that curve, but the trend is there. Performance is king. But even if our designs are more power efficient, that doesn't mean you don't push power levels up if the competition is doing the same thing, it's just that they'll have to push them a lot higher than we will. I think that it is pretty clear that by competition he means Nvidia. So yeah, increasing power consumption in return for additional performance boost seems to be the road these companies are taking with their GPUs, at least for the next few generations. With Nvidia, the price is usually a well-guarded secret up until the product reveal day. We can only make an educated guess that RTX 4070 MSRP will be between $550 and $650, as prices are expected to rise across the whole chip industry. According to the latest leaks, RTX 4070 may be revealed along with RTX 4090 and 4080 as early as middle of July. However, it will not be available to buy until October, right on time for the holiday season, while 4090 is rumored to be available in August and 4080 in September. Now let's talk about the gaming performance. I prepared 4K as well as 1440p performance charts, but before I show them to you, I want to make one thing very clear. All the RTX 4000 series data is a very rough estimation based on the leaks. These charts are designed to give you a general idea of how the upcoming graphics cards will stack up against the current generation. I expect RTX 4070 to perform almost as well as RTX 3090. That should make it a good solution for 4K gaming on a budget. Cyberpunk 2077 is one of the most difficult games to run, so it may be a good representation of what the performance will be like when truly next-gen games will start launching later this year. RTX 4070 should manage a 51 FPS average on high-quality preset. Rainbow Six Siege represents competitive shooters on this list. With 206 FPS average on Ultra preset, it will be enough to use a 4K 144Hz monitor to the maximum of its capabilities. 
Borderlands 3 is a fairly balanced example of how an average AAA game performs. 4K, Ultra Preset, 68 FPS. Expect to see around 58 FPS in Assassin's Creed Valhalla using the ultra high quality preset. In the shadow of the Tomb Raider, RTX 4070 comes close to 100 FPS average on the highest quality. A smooth gaming experience in Horizon Zero Dawn at 4K on ultimate quality is guaranteed with an 88 FPS average. Death Stranding goes even further with 120 FPS on very high preset. Watch Dogs Legion should get 60 FPS average on ultra quality. Moving on to 1440p. I am less sure about how the RTX 4000 series graphics cards will behave at this resolution, but here is what I think it will look like if Nvidia did not address inferior 1440p performance compared to AMD RX 6000 series graphics cards. RTX 4070 may end up performing worse than RX 6900 XT on average. Still, looking at the performance in Cyberpunk 2077 on high quality at 94 FPS, it will be a good graphics card to use with a 1440p monitor. For competitive gaming, you can even go with a 240Hz or higher monitor because you will be seeing around 379 FPS average in Rainbow Six Siege. Borderlands 3 will run smooth at well above 100 FPS. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is not kind to Nvidia graphics cards, just over 80 FPS average at 1440p on ultra high, but there will always be an odd game that performs like this, it goes both ways. 4070 should get close to 100 FPS in Watch Dogs Legion on ultra preset. It will be a treat to play Death Stranding at 186 FPS average at 1440p resolution. Horizon Zero Dawn is another game that will provide a smooth experience with over 140 FPS. And the last but not least, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, 166 FPS, using the highest quality preset. I think that RTX 4070 could become a good entry point for those looking to move to a 4K monitor but don't want to part with close to or even over $1000 to get a graphics card that can run games at such a high resolution. So a 4070 should be a good choice for playing any current game at 4K. As for the new games that will come with higher GPU requirements next year and beyond, I expect DLSS to solve this problem. Even the current DLSS 2.3 is very good in terms of image quality. Additionally, DLSS 3.0 is in the works and will bring us even closer to running our games with DLSS enabled by default. Like this video if it was helpful and subscribe for more. It was I, Vadim, until next time.